What's something you're known for? Well, as for Genghis Khan, his legacy's kind of hard to miss. Imagine having an entire empire attributed to your name. Crazy, right? So sit tight as we take you on a journey through the lasting impact of Genghis Khan, the ruler of the biggest land empire ever. Hi, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be discussing how much impact the Mongol Empire had on world history, and that includes the positive and negative consequences of the Mongol conquests. To do this, we will examine the administrative changes, cultural interactions, and trade systems that were established during the Khan era. Before we go ahead with this video, aside from the fact that he's built the largest land empire, do you know other remarkable facts about Genghis Khan? Let us know in the comments below. During the Khan era, Genghis Khan and his successors implemented significant administrative reforms, fostered cultural exchanges, and established extensive trade networks, leaving a lasting impact on the regions under Mongol rule. First, Genghis Khan recognized the need for a well-organized administrative system to govern his vast empire. He introduced a centralized bureaucracy that promoted meritocracy, with officials appointed based on their abilities rather than social status. The empire was divided into provinces known as Yulus, each headed by a governor who oversaw tax collection, justice, and security. Additionally, he implemented various bureaucratic reforms aimed at enhancing governance and efficiency. One notable development was the implementation of a comprehensive census system, which allowed for accurate population records and facilitated better resource allocation. Also, Genghis Khan recognized the importance of efficient communication and established a highly effective postal service. This postal system utilized relay stations strategically positioned along established routes, enabling rapid message delivery across vast territories. Furthermore, Genghis Khan played a pivotal role in the development of a written Mongolian alphabet, promoting literacy and facilitating communication within the Mongol Empire. These administrative reforms under Genghis Khan's leadership greatly contributed to the efficient functioning and cohesion of the empire. Another notable thing about Genghis Khan's leadership is his embrace for cultural exchange. The Mongols, despite their reputation as conquerors, embraced cultural diversity and encouraged exchanges between different civilizations. Genghis Khan adopted policies of religious tolerance, allowing freedom of worship for various faiths. Scholars, artists, and artisans from different regions were patronized, resulting in the exchange of ideas, art forms, and architectural styles. The Mongols played a vital role in connecting the East and West, facilitating the transmission of knowledge, technologies, and cultural practices. As for trade networks, under the Mongol rule, the extensive trade networks flourished, connecting Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. The Mongols actively promoted commerce by ensuring the safety of trade routes, issuing standardized currency, and establishing a system of passports for merchants. They encouraged the growth of international trade hubs, such as Karakoram, Samarkand, and Beijing. The Mongols' control over vast territories facilitated the movement of goods, ideas, and people contributing to economic prosperity and cultural exchange. The establishment of the Mongol Empire brought regions under a unified administration, enabling the flow of goods, knowledge, and cultural practices. The Pax Mongolica, a period of relative stability and peace, fostered economic growth, innovation, and intellectual exchanges. So what is Pax Mongolica anyway? And what exactly happened during this era? Meaning Mongol peace, Pax Mongolica refers to a period of relative stability and peace that prevailed across much of Eurasia during the height of the Mongol Empire's dominance in the 13th and 14th centuries. It was a consequence of the vast territorial conquests of Genghis Khan and his successors, which brought diverse regions and cultures under Mongol rule. One of the key features of Pax Mongolica was the establishment of secure trade routes and the protection of merchants and travelers. The Mongols recognized the economic benefits of facilitating commerce and actively encouraged international trade. They established an extensive network of roads and postal stations, known as the Yam system, which facilitated the exchange of goods, information, and ideas across their vast empire. This led to increased cultural exchanges, technological diffusion, and the spread of knowledge and innovations across different regions. Under Mongol rule, trade flourished as the empire's vast territory provided a safe environment for merchants to travel and conduct business. 
The Mongols implemented policies that ensured the safety of trade caravans, protected property rights, and maintained stable currencies. This encouraged the growth of long-distance trade routes connecting Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. The famous Silk Road, for instance, experienced a period of unprecedented prosperity during the Pax Mongolica. The Pax Mongolica also facilitated the dissemination of knowledge and ideas. Scholars and intellectuals could freely travel and exchange knowledge across the empire, leading to the translation and preservation of numerous texts in various fields, including science, philosophy, and medicine. This cultural exchange contributed to the intellectual and scientific progress of the era. Wow, we haven't even gone to the legacy Genghis Khan left after he died, and the impact that the Mongol Empire had is already so huge. If you like what you have been learning so far, make sure to give this a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell. Now it's time to delve into the positive and negative consequences of the Mongol conquests. Let's start with the positives first. One of the positive outcomes was the promotion of cultural exchange. The Mongols facilitated the movement of people, ideas, and goods across their vast empire, leading to the exchange of knowledge, languages, religions, arts, and technologies. Scholars, craftsmen, and merchants traveled along the Mongol-controlled trade routes, fostering cultural diversity and innovation. This cultural exchange sparked intellectual and artistic advancements as ideas and traditions merged, influencing various societies within the empire. Another positive consequence was the diffusion of technologies. The Mongols actively promoted the exchange of military techniques and facilitated the transmission of technologies like papermaking, printing, and gunpowder. These technological transfers had a profound impact on scientific and technological progress in the receiving societies, contributing to advancements in warfare, communication, and cultural development. Infrastructure development was also a notable outcome of the Mongol conquests. The Mongols invested in the construction of extensive road networks, bridges, and postal stations, creating efficient communication and trade routes. These infrastructure projects facilitated the movement of armies, promoted trade and communication, and stimulated economic growth. The exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies along these routes fostered cross-cultural understanding and contributed to the development of societies. However, the Mongol conquest also had negative consequences. Widespread destruction, loss of life, and devastation were significant aspects of their conquests. Cities were sacked, populations were massacred, and vast areas were laid to waste. The extensive warfare resulted in immense human suffering and population decline in some regions. The destruction caused by the Mongols had long-lasting social and cultural implications as communities struggled to recover from the devastation. The conquest also disrupted existing social, political, and economic structures. Local rulers were overthrown, and established civilizations faced significant upheaval. This resulted in social and political instability, loss of cultural heritage, and the displacement of communities. The conquered regions had to adapt to new ruling systems and cultural influences, which led to social tensions and identity crises. Furthermore, the Mongol conquests inadvertently facilitated the spread of diseases across vast regions. The movement of armies and the establishment of trade networks allowed for the transmission of diseases, leading to devastating pandemics such as the Black Death. These outbreaks caused significant loss of life in Europe and Asia and had profound social and economic consequences. Economically, while the Mongols promoted trade and commerce, they also implemented heavy taxation and extracted resources from the conquered regions. This economic exploitation, coupled with the disruption caused by warfare, resulted in economic hardships for many societies. Local economies suffered as resources were depleted or redirected to fulfill the demands of the Mongol Empire. In conclusion, the Mongol conquests had both positive and negative consequences on the regions they conquered. While they fostered cultural exchange, technological diffusion, and infrastructure development, their conquests also resulted in destruction, loss of life, societal disruptions, disease transmission, and economic exploitation. The impact of the Mongol conquests continues to shape the history and legacy of the affected regions to this day. But we all know that eventually, Genghis Khan died. So what happened to the Mongol Empire?
Genghis Khan anticipated the potential disputes among his successors over control of the Mongol Empire, so he made arrangements for its division. After his death, the empire was divided among his sons Yochi, Chagatai, Tolui, and Ogede, with each ruling a separate khanate. Ogede, the third son, succeeded as the great Khan in 1229 and held this position until his death in 1241. The reign of Kublai Khan, Genghis's grandson, marked a significant advancement. Kublai conquered the remaining territories of China, leading to the collapse of the Song Dynasty in 1279. He established the Yuan Dynasty and became the emperor of China. The Mongols exerted complete dominance over China for the next two decades. Subsequently, the Mongol Empire engaged in further campaigns, including in the Middle East, Korea, and Japan, with varying levels of success, ultimately establishing one of the largest empires in history. Genghis Khan's influence is far-reaching and profound. As the founder of the Mongol Empire, he transformed the course of history through his military conquests and innovative strategies. His empire stretched across vast territories, fostering cultural exchanges, trade networks, and administrative reforms. Genghis Khan's legacy as a visionary leader and his impact on the Mongolian people continue to be honored and celebrated, solidifying his status as an iconic figure in world history. Genghis Khan's legacy is definitely one for the books. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give this a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.